Hey guys, it's Khaled here and welcome back to another video. Today we have the review of the Logitech MK220 wireless keyboard and mouse combination. Stay tuned for the full review. So I have had this keyboard and mouse combo since around the start of COVID. I needed something small that won't take up much room because I can't always work on my primary desk and sometimes I need to work in a sit room or dining room and this can easily move about with the inclusion of a full number keypad. Also the combo has 2.4 GHz wireless technology that can be used up to a range of 10 meters. Haven't tried it at 10 meters, 5 and 6 seems perfectly fine for me and also there are batteries on there that are made to last so you can have it run in 24 months for the keyboard and 5 months on the mouse and it has an intelligent awake sleep mode where if you don't use your mouse you'll go into sleep and you'll reactivate once there's movement on the mouse or you press a key on the keyboard. Talking about the keyboard first it has a slim profile and a small footprint so on the left hand side there is a cover that states Logitech if we just slide that down pull it out you'll be exposed to two AAA batteries unfortunately we don't have any physical on and off switch and also there is no LED power indicator for both the keyboard and mouse on the back of the keyboard we do have a kickstand that will raise your keyboard slightly higher there are two options so without and with the kickstand I personally use it with the kickstand because it's more ergonomic and it feels better to type for such a small keyboard there is actually quite a nice amount of travel between the key and the button press and it does feel reassuring so if you're doing a lot of work on Excel, on Microsoft Word, you do get that good amount of feedback and you definitely know if a keyboard has been pressed. And that is definitely something that a lot of people look for that are working from home or if you're a student. Now granted, this may not be the best keyboard for gamers because you'll ideally want to look for a mechanical keyboard, but for everyday use, for everyday work, this is absolutely fine. And I've had no issues typing up long documents or emails. Moving on to the mouse, now the design is actually pretty basic, however the ergonomic and comfortability is really good. I've been using this for around 3-4 to four months now and it wraps around my hand really well. So there is also indentation for the index finger and middle finger so it houses you, both your fingers really nicely on the left and right click. We also have the click button on the middle wheel along with the scrolling function. So I'll just quickly give it a quick click just so you can hear how reassuring it sounds. Alright so we have the left click, right click middle click along with the scrolling function. For general everyday use I've been quite pleased with the position of the mouse and the click and point function and also whilst I'm scrolling through documents, emails or excel files it's done the job as expected. Moving to the back of the mouse if you take the cover off you'll be exposed to two AA batteries. Now the two AA and two AAA are included in the box along with a manual but again there is no on and off switch so you don't know if the device is connected unless you put the dongle in and talking about that dongle I don't know why the hell is it so big especially on on a keyboard that is marketed as being slim profile combat design why the hell is a dongle the size of the universe sorry I'm going on a rant but it annoys me because if you use it on a laptop and you decide to put the laptop on one side it might break or stop working or you might end up damaging you, your USB port so very good keyboard but that dongle does really good on my nerves now the typing experience on the keyboard is generally actually quite good now although this is a full-size keyboard because of the slim profile design you will be compromising on the size of some of the keys such as the shift button and the arrow keys so overall I'm actually very happy with this keyboard it does its job and it's very good for its use however there are some caveats so first of all there are no physical power switch for the keyboard and mouse and there's no LED indicators to show if it's been turned on secondly we do not have a full size arrow cursor so it's quite finicky to use but after a couple of hours you do get used to it thirdly that massive dongle just gets on my nerves so much so that's definitely a disadvantage and finally we do not have an indicator to show whether the caps lock or number lock is turned on or off now you may be thinking whoa 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 there's so many negative aspects but at the end of the day there are only small stuff and you have to consider the price being paid and I wanted to give you a true reflection of how the product is and I can't give you that if I provide only the positives and no negative aspects all right guys so it's been your boy Khaled thank you very much for watching it if you have watched till the end then thank you very much if you have a moment then please leave a like comment if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button and as always i'll see you in the next one take care and peace